For today's card creation for Crafty Cafe, we'll be using this W plus 9 Basic Greetings dies and then also this Petunia, Modern Petunias from W plus 9 and Coordinating dies and the Pinpoint Circle Frame and then some MFT also mixable stencils as well and some essential sentiments from MFT. We'll be using this Aquare Aquarello watercolor cardstock. Um, this Prima Marketing oil pastels. Um, they're water soluble so you can watercolor with them and I'm going to show you how to play with them today. And of course my stamping tool, my Ranger stamping tool. Um, the Tonic Studios Tim Holtz one. So I'm going to be using polymer stamps. I've placed my white my cardstock in there already and I had to flip my lid over. I'm just picking up the stamps now and then I actually detached this again because I wanted to show you separately what I wanted how I'm going to use this to place my oil pastels on. So I bring into view my oil pastels. There is 24 in a pack and they are very blendable, very beautiful. So I've used the direct crayon almost pastels to the stamps technique and I'm just rubbing on the side um, where I want the colors to be and I've started off with some yellows and some purples, some greens for the leaves, um, adding some different pink and green tones as well. So these are really great to blend with one another. So if you do, you're not, um, if you're after a particular color and you can just pretty much mix and match to how it, to achieve the out color that you want. Um, so I spent a bit of time rubbing all the actual um, crayons all over it. And then to get it mixing up, um, I then spray with the Distress Spritzer over the top. And I, it's just a light mist, just a couple of um, pumps of the spray. Um, and so that way it will stamp and create the outline image on the watercolor cardstock. So I blend, you can see the blue and purples a little bit to add some extra depth. Um, and you can just mix and match these colors. It's so fabulous to use and I just loved playing with this medium. So just putting the lid back on and stamping and pressing just quite hard, just moving the actual magnet out of the road. And I do this process twice. You can see here, so I just flip it over, I recolor with my crayons and stamp it. So here is the actual image. Now with my aqua brush I just start to add some water and blend in the actual um, stamped image and just blending that in. Now the more color I want and the more color I want to add I just pick up and rub my aqua brush on the actual oil pastel and just pick up some color and then color with it. So I'm just blending it out adding moisture first and then when I'm ready I actually just pick the color up directly. This um, can be as little um, or as much color as you want. You can see there I did a quick test on the side there to see how much color and what the vibrancy is like. They're really quite vibrant. Um, I love the impression that it gives. It stamps really well. You can make this as crisp as, as an image as you want depending on the water that you place on there. So you can see me really mixing the colors up. I'm just picking them up and just blending that in on the watercolor card stock. Because I'm not overly blending, you could easily have used normal white card stock that doesn't peel like a good quality. Um, just for, I was just playing it safe um, today and used watercolor card stock. So you see the overall colored image. And now I show you another technique here by using a particular sandwich through my big shot using a stencil I can create an almost like an embossed image like you would an embossing folder so I've just adhered this down with washi tape I use my tab one platform I've got my plates my rubber mat and then I bring into view because I forgot 
to add um, I wanted an extra bit of cushion so I've um, added like a cut a chipboard um, I really wanted that circles to be a deeper impression um, and really stand out because I was going to also die cut um, in the center and I really didn't want to miss out on getting a really good impression so I pass that through the big shot back and forth and then I slowly peel off and you can see this deep impression that it has left on my card front. Isn't it fabulous? This has just opened up a world of just playing around with all your stencils other than adding whatever you usually do with them. So I thought it was really great. Now I've got the pinpoint memory box circle frame here running that through the big shot. Um, just one pass was able to cut it just fine. I loved the actual detail of this um, die and you can see the outside of the actual it looks like you've pierced that. Now I've die cut these with the coordinating dies and I'm just really now playing around here um, on a design. I really didn't have anything in mind. I hadn't played with the, um, the florals um, for a while so I was actually just taking my time and just figuring out where I wanted to add what you know how many and just trying to figure out placement here so once I'm happy I use my Ranger multi matte medium and I work my way from outside of the circle then slowly working my way in and then I decide where I'm going to add some foam dimensionals as well and see what I really wanted to play with and where I wanted to add that extra depth. So I really take my time making and fidgeting around the placements of this and once I'm happy that's I decide now then where I'm going to put the foam squares. These are the small ones. These are very great for detail. I absolutely adore these. These are quite handy to have in my stash. Saves me cutting multiple little ones out from a bigger one. So just playing now, really enjoying and taking the time of these placements um, around the actual circle die cut. Sometimes I need to um, reinforce it so I bring in my clear block to hold that down so I can continue still with placing all these down and adhering all these down. I really love the multi matte medium. It uh, gives me a little bit of wiggle room as well um, and you know it gives me that time so I, if I decide I want to change something I have that little bit of time without ruining my projects as well. So just placing that around. There were so many to play with. It was really fun actually. I'm glad I um, watercolored twice and was able, had enough then to play around. And then just again with my foam squares on the very last one, I actually placed directly because I didn't want to adhere it on the bottom part of my cardstock. And there you go, I'm quite happy with that placement. Now for the sentiment, I had a leftover piece of alcohol. Um, I've been playing with alcohol inks a lot and I had a leftover piece. So I actually just used the Friends from W Plus 9, die cut it out um, and ran that through the big shot. So using all my scraps up, I have made it a motto this year uh, and I'm trying to stick to it. I know I'm only in February, but I'm doing my best. Um, to make sure I'm using as much scraps as I can and not wasting um, my scraps. I have a little scrap bin so I just pretty much ruffle through that and you know just pick out what I wanted and I just thought I love this color combo of this alcohol ink and I really wanted to use that on my card. So this one here says friend and just using it like a needle to pick up the bits and pieces and poking the rest through because it's Yapo paper. It didn't tear and it did cut all the way through but it, um, there was little bits of pieces that you know didn't cut um, cleanly so I was just making sure I was poking all those out. So just placing that. Now I did, if you notice, I did place that towards the top a little bit. Here I am trying to put that tittle down. I didn't even know what that was until I heard Laura Fedora, Laura Basson, 
<laughs> say what that word was. And ever since then, I'm like, right. It was just so funny and she made me laugh so hard um, that I just never forgot it. <laughs> so I used the yay you. And just had fun with that. So just stamping that. Now I used the actual um, Distress Oxide Violet um, for that one. And that's my card. Very simple, hey? But it was so much fun. I hope you enjoy your watercolor mediums as well and um, dust yours off and have fun. Thanks for watching.